Hey guys, it's Rick here, back again with another episode of The Practice Room. Welcome to my practice room. Okay, I need your help for today's practice room. It's not just going to be me practicing on my own. I'm going to put on a backing track, I'm going to um, play over a blues, and I want you to join in. So I'm going to take a solo, then you will take a solo. Um, so, I think we should get straight to it. It's a blues in G, watch me for the changes and try and keep up okay. I've always wanted to say that. If you know what film that is from, please post it in the description uh, below. Post it in the comment section. Um, okay, so it's in the key of G. So. Okay, so I'll go first. Um, Hopefully I'll be doing more of these if you guys enjoy this kind of thing because uh, I'm really enjoying the interactive aspect of doing this and I want to get you guys more involved in the playing side of it rather than just watching which is cool too but um, you know it'd be great to get you involved more in the playing so um, this is why I decided to do this kind of thing so please let me know if you dig it. So let's put the track on. Um, I'm not going to put any limitations on our playing, you can do whatever you like, but as a general rule, if you can, try and pick up some ideas from what I'm playing, whether that be rhythmic, melodic, or whatever. You know, take a motif that you like that I play and sort of develop it in your own solo. You know, it's a good thing to do because it forces you to listen more uh, to somebody else, and you know, in a band situation, you have to do that. So, um, it should help your musicianship in general. So if you can do that, just pick up motifs and uh, incorporate them into your solos. Um, that would be great. So let's get straight to it. Here we go. So it's in G. Thank you. 
Okay, let's stop there. Cool, that was fun. Um, I'm really digging this kind of thing, so I think I'm going to start doing lots more of these practice room sessions and get involved, get you guys involved more with the playing. So I'm still going to be doing tons of other practice room sessions as normal, but I'm going to start incorporating these more. I think these interactive sessions are great. They're healthy, both for me and for all you guys. So, um, wicked! Excellent, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, Make sure you like my Facebook fan page if you haven't already, link is in the description box below. And also check out my website for downloadable lesson content, lots of cool stuff there for you guys, so check it out. I will catch you guys in the next episode of The Practice Room. Take care.